What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba, number one. So, I've been seeing some people play number three. Uh, it's apparently the newest release of this series and I've never played this series. This was requested to me a long time ago, but unfortunately I did forget. But, we're finally playing it, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this video should be the mark of my... I guess my clean slate on the channel. I'm going to be focusing more on actual Let's Plays instead of just looking for indie games to play and whatever. I, other channels do that. It's kind of not what I envision my channel to be, so I hope you guys enjoy what I have coming for you. And uh, yeah, check out some of these. But anyway, the music sounds really awesome. The style looks really cool. And uh, this looks right up my alley, so let's get into it. Have to warn you though, this uh, game has some like violent probably disturbing imagery and stuff like that, so just wanted to warn you guys. This game has a bunch of bad endings and one good ending, and I like a secret ending or something like that. We'll see what we can do. Game contains bloody elements, and that was really quick, but you all can pause that. Nina. Congratulations on another successful case today, Mr. Enabus, sir. <laughs> I found so many missing children or pets, I can easily do it in my sleep. This is hardly worth praising for me for. Ah, don't even start. If I can recall correctly, you were just about to jump ship until I happened to spot a kitty cat for you. You're not wrong about that. It wouldn't do us any good to tire out the mind of the great detective with such trifles. That's why all... Menial tasks fall on you, Ar Arimura. So you say, but it's been a while since we've had a huge case fall into our lap. All I'm saying is that it wouldn't kill you to put in a little bit more effort. There you go again, running off that big mouth of yours. If only there were some way to control this nasty habit. <laughs> ah, stop pulling my cheek. Still... This rain is something else. Something I forgot to mention, though, this is like a murder mystery game. I don't know if I actually did say that or not, but just in case, uh, yep. No kidding. It started the moment we got into the mountain path. The bus stopped. Why? I apologize for the sudden stop. I ask that you all please remain in your seats and wait here patiently. Something happened? Clearly. <laughs> this may prove to be fortuitous of us. Come, let's check it out. Because we're detectives. Is there a sprint? No. Okay. September 28th. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got a Zippo lighter. You shouldn't be smoking. Um, oh, these are our objectives. Oh, they, they keep it here. Okay, cool. In case I uh, happen to uh, play this for an hour, because it happens to be kind of late. Oh, the art's really good. What do you have to say, sir? Uh, we'll, we'll see. What the hell happened? Oh, man, this isn't good. What happened? My apologies. It seems we might have had a, might have a slight delay. It's like a landslide. That's about... That's about the right of it. For now, we can't proceed any further. Can't be serious. You mean to tell me that we're all doomed to die here? I wouldn't go that far. That's the logical conclusion, uh, conclusion yes. Don't get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be fine. Are we really that stranded in the middle of nowhere? While we can't get to our destination with the road in this state, we can always head back to town if we need to. Oh, you're right. Suddenly stop panicking. Also, props to you for standing out in the rain with a white shirt. <laughs> Not to mention that with uh, this being the only road, we can only take, take around a week to repair. Wow. Oh, so that's where we have the mystery. We happen to be in this little town or whatever. Sorry to intrude in your happy parade, but we actually can't return back to town. Wait, what? Why? 
The landslide affected the road behind us as well. Oh, so we're just trapped. Dear me, our troubles have been piling up. I can Im imagine the heavy rain isn't increasing our prospects in a timely rescue much either. But I can only imagine how hard it might be to live inside the bus for an extended period of time. No, I would never... Oh god, I'm so done with the public bus, dude. <laughs> I would never imagine ever living in one. My premonition is to come true. We're all gonna die here. Calm yourself. Don't be so absurd. Our objective now is quite simple. Let's seek out a shelter. Yeah, let's just <laughs> let's just build a a fort out of sticks and wood and stuff like that. I'll bring the rest of the pa passengers up to date. Do they live in the bus or you live out in the woods? Hopefully, we got some Boy Scouts or something. Seek shelter. Well, we can with just the bus, but. I'm sure the game wants us to go this way. So this way leads to the woods, huh? The rain is just as bad here. Nothing is making this any easier. Okay. Alright, so we have to find shelter. We're not going to build it. But yeah. So, um, it's been a while since I've... I've oh. It's been a while since I've played a game from... Uh, every once in a while, I'll find some games from Memories of Fear. And the site is pretty sick. Hold on a minute. Because it's got so many games that I played before, but I never knew the actual site. And there's so many cool games on there. I gotta play them all. We just found, happened to find a huge mansion. Maybe somebody lives here. A typical witty retort of yours, huh? You really expect me to play along with your preposterous comedy routine? That's where you two went. Could this be... You are correct. I think we found exactly what we were looking for. Well, good news. I'll go get the other passengers here at once. So hopefully there is somebody living in here. Okay. So before we went this way... Oh, never mind. That bus driver was, for whatever reason, deep into the forest, but oh well. Alright, I guess we will go inside. Ah, this mansion doesn't have a doorbell. The front door isn't locked either. Might as well try entering, I guess. This mansion looks really, really big. It also looks like a school. Kind of getting tired of playing RPG Maker games that take place in a school, but eh. If they're if they're really good and scary, I don't mind. I guess not. If we want to find anyone in this place, we'll need to turn on the electricity first. Mr. Inaba, do you have something we can use as a light? Uh, yeah, the lighter. All right. Good work. <laughs> All I did was pull up this lighter. Good work. Now let's shed some light into our situation. Wow, you're corny. Uh, items. Alright, this is spoopy. Extremely valuable, valuable looking <laughs> vase adorns the table. I like the way he talks. It adorns the table. What the fuck? He's, well, I'm freaking out. There's no time to be freaking out. Let's get the electricity back on and... Wait, what did he react to? Lightning? What just, what just happened? Doesn't appear to be any light switches. Wait, what did he freak out at? Also, I don't like the staticky noises. But what can you do? Door is locked. Alright. Hope you guys are, you know... Chillin', got your snacks. Enjoy this let's play of me opening a bunch of locked doors. I love it. Classic. Door is also locked. Well, you know, the owner kind of left. So I would assume he locked all the doors. Well, not the... Not the first door, though. The hell? Oh. How did it break on its own? Who knows, maybe it's likely it shattered on its own from old age. You're not gonna get you're not gonna dock my pay for this, right? <laughs> Was that not Okay, whatever. It's too dark to see. Ooh! Wait, is that the circuit breaker? I thought we were gonna try to find stairs that went down, but anyway. Alright, seems my lighter just ran out of fluid. Wow, what perfect timing damn straight. Looks like a set of keys are hanging here. We should borrow them for the time being. 
Is it really okay for us to be just taking them as we please? Yeah, why not? We're detectives. Don't be silly. Oh, wow, that was what the static was from? Who on earth would turn it on? It's best not to waste one's brain power over such annoyances. That's what I say every day. <laughs> he just keeps grabbing at her cheek. Are these two dating? What the? Oh, that's the bus driver. Oh, wait, are all the passengers going to get, like, go missing? You brought them all here. Great. What the hell? You gotta be effing kidding me. No reason to get worked up. Such is life. Indeed it is. An impassable road it is, after all. An impassable road. Can't say I approve of the atmosphere here. It's a tad eerie. Is someone living here? Maybe. Doesn't look like it, does it? I have no qualms about using this mansion to take shelter from the rain for tonight. But if the homeowner does get back, all we gotta do is explain the situation. Hopefully he doesn't shoot us. <laughs> There's a fucking intruder in the house. Party called for help, so all we can do in the meantime is wait for them to arrive. I guess we got no choice. Well now, seeing as that we're all spending time here together for the foreseeable future, how about we introduce ourselves? Alright. I'm Kinchi Knight. Ugh. Uh, the classic Chris Kane can't pronounce Japanese names. I definitely can't. Uh, we're done here? Get out of my face. Wow. Rude. Okay. Great, great. Uh, thank you. Yeah, see ya. Or see ya. Whatever. See ya. Her name's Sia. I'm a doctor. Wow, a doctor. Awesome. <laughs> Treat my injuries. Yeah, let's start with her mouth. These two must be dating, or they have some kind of, like, what do they call it? Romantic tension? Sexual tension? I don't know. My name is Toa. By the way, I'm a chef. Okay. What a lively fellow. My name is Shin... Get... Shigetaka Komatsu, a novelist. You write books? Oh, you're the guy? A crime fiction lover. He is already suspicious. Well. Yeah. I don't know. He seems that it, if he writes murder, like, mystery novels, that he probably, like, would know what to do or, like, how to cover his tracks or something like that. Like, that's what makes him suspicious to me. He always seems so well read. You haven't heard of him before? Watch the. I'm about to say, I don't know about you guys, but there's like Scooby Doo logic in my mind. Every time I used to watch Scooby Doo, Where Are You? Like the villain or the person behind everything is usually the first person they meet. But in this case, I feel like this is suspicious. And nothing's even happened yet. <laughs> Alright, that's everyone. Still don't know anything about the both of you. Until I slip my mind, my name is Nina. And I'm Sogo Inaba, a detective. Seriously? We got ourselves a private eye here. Uh, well. And I'm his assistant. Slash love interest, maybe. If someone has got you stumped, please do stop on by our bureau. Are you spreading propaganda? Maybe I will pay a visit one day. Now that everyone's met each other, we should spend some time exploring the mansion. We also need to find a place to sleep. On that, cl that case, you may need these keys. We just handed over the set of keys already? I'll be sure to look after these. I'll go ahead and unlock any doors that come across in advance. I mean, it's better you do it than I do it, because I, I hate going around checking every single door. Alright, we'll look around too. Door investigation, you bring up a map. A map? Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I do like the music. Hmm. Quite a number of books. Mm-hmm. 
like the plot twist is like one of them is actually the owner of this mansion, but that would be too convenient. <laughs> Quite brainless. Ah, Mr. Inaba. Yes. What's up? Did you find something? Happen to have found guest I found guest rooms. Took the liberty of assigning everyone their own quarters. Ooh. Your room is on the second floor from the left. Okay. Alright. To let you know here, the west hall is gonna be from left from right to left. Okay. And the east hallway past the entranceway is gonna be left from right. Um, right, okay. The last room is vacant. Hmm. Maybe we're individual. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet, and I'm already like being suspicious of what's gonna happen. My apologies for being such a poor roommate. <laughs> um, I'll be in my assigned guest room in the meantime. If you have further questions, don't feel feel free to don't hesitate to ask. Okay. So, oops. Well, yeah, we are on the first floor. think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is her room. Nice pretty room. Alright, so we're exploring the first floor, but we kind of did, so can we go to this? Oh, no, did I go this way? Oh, no, I didn't. I wasn't in here yet. Because my objective is still to explore the first floor, but I don't, th there's nothing really shiny in here, so I guess forget it. Can we go to the second floor? Yes, we can. Ooh, nice mirror. Nice dining room. Huh. I'm, I'm just not sure, like, I feel like the action is about to start. Oh, that's locked? Hmm. Okay. What the hell is this? Painting of a green snake. The snake. Oh. What? Okay. Check out this kitchen. It looks alright. Pretty alright. It's even fresh food in the fridge. Wow. Really okay for us to be helping ourselves? No, it's not. But we can't help the situation we're in. So worst case scenario, we can simply recompensate the owner. Eh, I guess so. Okay. Make some food for everybody. Maybe I should go back to my guest room and wait there until the food is ready. Okay. We'll just go and chill for a bit. And thanks for the map, but I already know where my room is. Ooh, what's this? Should I wait here until dinner is ready? Um, let's actually save here, because I don't know what this game asks for as far as, like, getting the good ending or not. Like, this is going to give me the bad ending. I already know it. But let's just wait. I didn't know you were in the waiting... I didn't know you were waiting in your room. I, you, I told you I was. <laughs> You're done already? Yes, come on before it gets cold. I literally told you I was going to be in my room. Or unless I said that to myself, then I apologize. It was a rather impressive feast. It does look nice, doesn't it? What are you waiting for? Let's eat. This is delicious. Thanks, man. Compliments to the chef. I wasn't talking about you. Wow. Yeah, there's some tension there. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, was the chef fucking suspicious? What? Oh, uh, what the? Hey, what is this bullshit? Somebody better say something can't be. What is this? Doctor, could you please check him out? Doctor? Uh, yes, of course. What the hell? Just as we feared, he was poisoned. I'm almost certain he... It was, it was slipped into his meal. What the hell? Is that so? How is this possible? I'll tell you how, you son of a bitch. You've... Well, hold up. Why would I do something like that? He's right, I was there the whole time. 
Well, then we gotta trust your word. <laughs> Who the hell would slip poison to his meal? Okay, you guys know each other. Who's to say you're not an accomplice? What the? I never expect you would. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> now is not. The man is dead. There's no time to be joking. That's not funny. But regardless of their complicity in the matter, let's talk about facts here. Both uh, Mr. and Mrs. were involved in meal preparations. Thus, the spotlight of suspicion falls upon them. That's right. By this admission, shouldn't we confine these two somewhere? You want to lock us up? I'm certain there is a storage room of some sorts on the first floor that we can be locked out from the outside. How about we keep them there for the night, or at least until help arrives? Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? Hold your horses. You want to lock a man and a young woman together in a tiny area like that? Now, you don't have to worry about that, Miss Assistant. You're just a tad too young for my tastes. What? Oh, that's so weird. Is the confinement going a bit too far? You'd rather have a potential killer just strolling around out instead. Could you rest peacefully knowing that every breath you take might be your last? Not that you put it that way. Dr. Hamora. Not much room for a debate, huh? If we want to get back, get everyone's trust, you have to go along with what they say. Ugh. Don't fret, Hamora. I'll solve the case. I'll take an apocalypse uh, for a man's standards to fall low enough to be interested. Oh, wow. He's very mean. This farce has gone on long enough. Move it, both of you. Fuck out of here. <laughs> it's hard to believe how this has turned out. First of all, I should examine this room thoroughly. I got notes. I got notes. I got notes. Uh, files. Wait. Okay, but now the game's starting to get interesting, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh... Yeah, the bus driver was poisoned during dinner. And the chef and our assistant is uh, suspicious. So yeah, we'll just look around. What's my notes, though? The murder of Katoro Akashi. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what these shiny things are. Could this, could this vial be... Oh my god, there's the vial is just sitting there? Hmm. I kind of, I'm kind of suspicious of the uh, the uh, the medic, the doctor, because she was like hesitant to like check him. Anyway, like to me, that's pretty suspicious. How did the killer administer the poison? If the poison was applied at the time of the food preparation, then everyone, not just Akashi, should have been affected. Maybe it was applied in his tableware, but the seats were not particularly assigned. Could the target have not mattered? That is interesting. Jeez. Doesn't rigor mortis, like, doesn't that... I, I don't know nothing about rigor mortis. I just thought that it took, like, a little bit more time for it to kick in. Hmm. How did it get introduced to the food? Just turn my sights upon the rest of the mansion. Alright. Look at these notes. Uh, I've learned the vial which held the lethal poison could have been rolled from underneath uh, Appeared to have rolled from underneath the table poison seemed to have only been applied to his dish yet the seating arrangements were not predetermined Hmm all right definitely murder Interesting we're probably gonna get attacked like there's gonna be traps or some shit. I already call on it Hmm is there anything in here? Sink has been cleaned up. No shinies in here. Well, no, no traces of poison, because they didn't do it. At least that's what I'm assuming. So I guess I have to talk to every single person. Wait, oh, I'm on the second floor? Oh, I thought I was on the first floor. Makes sense. <laughs> 